do you want to catch the biggest bass of your life this fall? Well, there might not be a better way to do that than with this ultra realistic swim bait from Live Target Lures. So Live Target Lures came out with this ultra realistic set of swim baits last year uh, and it really took the industry by storm. The one we're going to talk about today is this four inch gizzard shad swim bait. Uh, it only weighs one ounce, which is one thing I really, really like about this. You don't need to go out and purchase a, a new swim bait rod, reel, spool up a new reel with line. You don't need to spend a bunch of money on it. You can throw this on your flipping stick. Uh, I like to throw it on anything 7.3 to 7.6 with a medium heavy to heavy power rod and 20 pound line. Uh, and it's just a super, super natural bait. It's got this boot tail design, which allows for a really nice wide action with that tail. And it makes the head quiver and shimmy. You know, that secondary action is almost always what draws those bigger bites from swim baits. So it's awesome that was incorporated. Now, another thing I like, this comes with a super high quality hook. This is an extra wide gap hook and it provides plenty of gap between the back of this lure so that fish can get that hook. You know, without a doubt, fall is my absolute favorite time to throw an ultra realistic swim bait like this one. The reason for that is you got these lakes that are full of shad. They have all these young of the year shad that are an inch, inch and a half in length. There's huge balls of these shad. And so at that point, it's almost like it's impossible to catch a fish because they have so much of the real thing around. They're not really going to relate to those. And the big bass don't like to chase those schools around all the time. So you got a little of those little one, one and a half pound bass blowing those shad out of the water every once in a while. Um, but the real true giants don't seem to be around them. Now, if you can get into a creek, look around a little bit more and find those areas where you have four, five, six inch gizzard shad, you're gonna see a lot fewer of them, but those are oftentimes the areas where you're gonna catch the biggest bass potentially of the season. So when am I gonna pick up this ultra lifelike gizzard shad swim bait? Well, the most important thing to me is having clean water. This is a visual bait. This is not a bait you're gonna burn. It's not a reaction bait like a crankbait or a spinner bait or something. This is a bait that a bass needs to see. So if I don't have two to three feet of visibility and up, I won't even pick this bait up. You know, but the great thing about that is, since it's so lifelike and natural, it has that really, really natural swimming action. Obviously it couldn't look any more like the real thing. It's the best possible bait you can almost throw when you got that ultra clean water. You know, the next thing I'm looking for is isolated cover. This is super, super important whenever you're picking out some of the biggest bass of the year. And my favorite type of isolated cover, right over here we got docks. Docks make an awesome place for bass to stage underneath in that clean water. They can sit there in the shade, the bait fish can't see them. When, when they come by, those bass will ambush them and it, that's one of the times you're gonna catch the biggest bass of the year. So when I'm fishing this swim bait around docks like this one, I'm not making a super long cast. I wanna make a bunch of precise, presentations and keep this bait in the strike zone hit it from as many angles as possible big bass are super super smart so you already accomplished the goal of having a super lifelike swim bait like this one you also need to hit it from a bunch of different angles because oftentimes that fish will just look at it and won't react unless you hit them right in the face with it so as far as a cast i like to make a bunch of different casts i'll make one parallel you know right underneath of a boat like this one And then I'll turn around and make some casts back behind it. Basically whatever I can possibly do to keep this bait in the strike zone and hit these targets from a bunch of different angles. You know, as far as a retrieve goes with this swim bait, like I said, it's not a reaction bait. It's not a bait you wanna burn. You wanna cast it out there and make a nice, easy retrieve. You want this to be a slow to medium pace retrieve that, just enough to make that tail thump and keep that bait two or three feet underneath that dock and those bass can pop out and grab it. Go pick up a few of these live target gizzard shad swim baits and go fish them around isolated cover in that clean water this fall. And I think you'll be surprised by the results you can get. Not only will you catch some of the biggest bass of the year, the two to three pounders, the keepers, tournament fish really love these as well. I hope these tips I share with you guys will help you catch more this fall. Thanks so much for watching and go check these out at mysterytacklebox.com. I'm out of here.